Hello everyone, my name is Etibedi and I play the role Gloria in Castaway. So basically, right, Castaway is a movie about a practice in um, the Volta region, particularly. And that practice is called Trocosi. So Trocosi is um, basically families bringing virgin girls to a shrine to atone for an alleged mislead of a family member or to pay for a service. So when they bring their girls to their house, automatically the girl becomes the wife of the chief priest, whether the girl is underage or not. So that's, that's basically what trocosy means. And I play the role Gloria. Gloria happens to be one of the girls who fell victim to this practice. And she came to replace her dead cousin. Her cousin was already in the shrine. But she died and the family had to look for someone else to come and replace her. And Gloria, who was in secondary school, was brought by her family to come and be in the shrine. That means everything holds for her. Okay, so when Gloria was brought to the shrine, she didn't like, even before they were taking her, she didn't like the idea of coming to the shrine because she, she had bigger dreams. She wanted to be a lawyer in the future. So she had, I had bigger dreams. I played Gloria. So I had bigger dreams and I didn't want to stay in the shrine because I couldn't achieve those dreams there. So when she was brought to the shrine, she didn't like the idea. And since day one, she's been planning on how to get out of that shrine. And she's been rebellious. Anyone who is in the shrine, she didn't want, she didn't even want anyone around her. And she hated the chief priest because he was very wicked, maltreating girls, putting girls through, uh, through lots of pain. Because like, most of the girls are underage, but because they are automatically his wife, he sleeps with them anyhow. He doesn't even sleep, he rape, he rape them. Because all the girls there don't even want to sleep with him. Because he's not a nice person, he's ugly and all that. And I'm not sure anyone would want to sleep with an old, ugly, wicked man. So, <laughs> he raped them. Yeah. So the favorite part of my scene, or what I liked about Gloria is, she's a very strong girl. She is fearless. And in real life, I'm a no-nonsense girl. So when I came to the shrine, I saw all this thing happen. I was like, yo, why is this happening? I have to teach this guy a lesson. So in my mind, I didn't want him to sleep with me like the other girls. I didn't even want him to come closer to me. But one evening I was having my sleep. You've deprived, you've, you've deprived me of all my rights. You brought me to a shrine to enslave me. I kept quiet. I'm sleeping. Then I heard someone coming to my heart right and i knew it was him because no one would come to my heart at that time and already i knew his rundowns because i knew he's been raping girls in the shrine so when i heard him coming i got up and i asked him what he wanted here and he was telling me all those bullshit that he's my husband blah 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 i was like, okay fine he was trying to force me to sleep with him but I had to play with his mind because if I'm not strong enough and I know he's stronger than me so if I want to prove that I'm stronger than him he'll just end up raping me so I had to lure him to the bed and I kicked him in the balls I kicked him in the balls and that night he learned his lesson he couldn't even walk back he had to crawl out of the hut I felt so accomplished, trust me, because none of the girls were able to stand up to him that way. And I did it. But the sad part was the following day, I was beaten mercilessly. But I still didn't give up. I still had that tenacity to leave the shrine. And I got a friend there called Ag Agbadofu. 
Can you imagine when we come to the shrine, they change our names too. They give us horrible names. Names that, like cursing names. Do you know what Agbarufu means? Like, they gave me Maku. Maku means I will die. Like, why would someone give birth and name her child Maku? And name her child I will die. Like, what sort of horrible name is that? So in the shrine, I don't even like them calling me Maku. My name is Gloria. That's what I want to be called. Yeah. So I met a friend there. Her real name is Mawena. And we had to plan on how to escape. Yeah. So this role has been has been a highlight in my career because I've never had a, an intriguing role like this. So and and the thing is right, every scene was 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 good. Everything was different. Like I liked it because it's like it was trying to depict the character I had. For, like the escape through the bushes, we had to use a lagoon. We had to um, get inside some crazy looking car and all that. Like it was, it was, it was. It was different. It gave me a whole new environment. Like I had to learn some stuff too, because I mean that was my first time on a lagoon, so I had to learn how to paddle and all those things. So I liked all my scenes, cause like I didn't have flat scenes. They were all different and they were all nice. But the one I really fell in love with was the was the lagoon scene, cause when I was dance, um, I, I made my friend take some pictures of me and I saw the behind the scene. And I saw the pictures, they were so nice. Like, I can't wait for this movie to be out because after, I can imagine after the editing, the scoring and everything, how how emotional it's going to look. I just can't wait for it, trust me. Way before you go involved. Of course. You know, before mm. you even made, your, made up your mind to yeah. be an actor. Right, right. So, now that you are finally part of for you, always, you know, admired from a distance, how do you feel? So, Venice Films is 20 years old, and 20 years is a long way. It's a long way. And you know what? I grew up watching Venice Films. Yeah, I can't even imagine how old I was when they started shooting movies. And you know, all their movies have been good. And in Ghana, if you want to talk about some of the production house, some of the major production house who birthed stars, big stars in Ghana, you can count Venus films as one of them. And you know what? While I was growing up, I, I said to myself, when I when I started, when I decided to pursue acting, I said to myself, I want to be part of Venus film one day. And here I am now. And I'm so excited, I'm so elated to be part of Venus films and to be part of their 20 years anniversary. I just want to thank Venus Films for 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 believing in me, for giving me a chance to 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 exhibit my talent. And I want to wish them a happy birthday. I want to wish them more years of success, more years of of elevating people in this industry. Yeah. So thank you, Venus Films, and happy birthday. So Trocacy, it's it's a very barbaric practice. I mean, young girls are being deprived of their right because immediately they step into that shrine, their whole life is over. Their whole life revolves around, around the shrine and revolves around an ugly priest, an ugly and wicked priest. Yeah, so I feel the girls are being enslaved. They are being tortured emotionally. And they are even they are being tortured men mentally, and it's not cool. It's not a good thing to be doing. It's it's indirect. Um, it's indirect slavery, because chocolacy. I know when I learned um, chocolacy way back in school, I knew chocolacy meant something something slave. Is it slave of the gods? Yeah. Can you imagine? How can you bring someone's child as, as, as young as 12 year old and an old man like that fucking a 12 year old girl and he thinks it's right 
because the gods like it and they are toning for someone else's um, mis mislead. It's not fair. I think this, this, this practice should be demolished. It's not a good thing to be doing. It should be, it should be taken out of our tradition. Yeah, it's a baby season.